Hey y'all, so I know that y'all probably saw my last video. Um, well, I don't know if it was the last video. I know y'all probably saw the video when I started talking about uh, how you should keep your virginity as long as you can. Or if you already lost it, you should abstain or be celibate whatever I know the difference is it's a difference but right now I, can, I don't know off the top of my head um so we just gonna start that thing over so it's your girl Janet Denise or C underscore J go or Janet T Clark or whatever social media handle you happen to follow me under and today we talking about S-E-X so um I did make this video 18 and older because it's a lot of cheering and my family that like to watch my videos so I, I got to lock down on it cause first and foremost they young ain't no reason even though they watch the other YouTubers chit chat about all this stuff they ain't got no business doing it so anyways this is where we are so trigger warning it's a lot of stuff that we are going to cover in this video so I'm trying my best to go as quickly as possible and I'm not trying to um um, uh, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? I can't think of the word, but I'm trying my best to. I'm not trying to like take emotion out of it. If y'all, I seem like I'm not emotional about some stuff. I am cried about this stuff. I am prayed about this stuff for years, and I'm just sharing it. And I'm trying not to let this video be too long because I know y'all don't watch all my long videos. So, uh, yeah, but trigger warning, we're going to talk about uh, losing your virginity, we're going to talk about miscarriages, we're going to talk about abortions, we're going to talk about uh, pregnancy, out of wedlock, you feel me? We're going to talk about whatever the Lord bring in the room for us to talk about. So, um, yeah, if you don't want to hear about none of that stuff, then I suggest that... Uh, you watch the next video because you don't watch this one and I'm gonna try my best to leave the timestamps in the comments but I mean in the description box below so if you do want to see some parts but not others you can skip through like that so let's get it started so like I was saying I um never ever in life ever been a type of person to be boy crazy I never wanted to I mean I always wanted to be married I always wanted to have children as uh, a child <laughs> or two but I always oh, wanted to have children and but I've never been the type of person outwardly or inwardly that's just like oh I want a boyfriend oh I want to be oh, I want to be hugged up booed up and all of that I've never been like that I got I had my first crush crush when I was like in the eighth grade but I ain't, I still didn't want to be with him I was like I was just like it'd be cool to sit by him at lunch <laughs> <laughs> that was it so when I got in the 11th grade is when I got my first real boyfriend didn't really want to be with him at first either until we start kicking it like that because my confidence right now is up there it ain't where I want it to be it's up there though when I was young it was down here it was like why you like me why you want to talk to me like right now I know <laughs> right now she's popping you feel me I always been popping but I didn't know I was popping so um it was just like okay he wanna be with me we chit chatted all this other stuff got with him told him um I'm not having sex till I get married point blank in the period he was like okay cool he was cool with that so um we went on about our business we would do a little pet pet then the pet went to smooches <laughs> sucking on lips and tongue and that thing like months like months will go by months will go by and it's like almost it was almost like cockroach every six months some new pop up okay how much can we do without actually doing the do you know without actually breaking the law without actually uh sinning even though it, it lust was taking over you feel me because I mean I feel like I'm just talking and I'm all over the place because I'm trying to rush. So let me slow down. I, 
even in my younger days, I've always been the type of person where I want to help other people. I don't want to bother people with my problems and things like that. So that's why I say to myself a lot. However, I go out of my way to help others. What does this have to do with anything? To all uh, help others and do stuff for other people. And uh, with me doing that, I always wanted to appear to have it all together. So if it was rules, I was going to follow them rules, point blank at the period. So the rule was, you don't have sex till you get married. So I was going to follow that rule, point blank at the period. However, I got this little boyfriend in 11th grade, and we was together for three years at this point. And I was just like, okay, so let me see what can we do without actually doing it so we went from uh just pecking to smooching to full-blown making out to full full-blown clothes burning aka hunching out here in this day and too old to be doing it but we was doing it you feel me um to we got to the point three years into all of that got to the point where it's just like okay take your clothes off take take uh, not all of it just your bottoms take your clothes off take my clothes off we still not gonna do it we gonna clothes burn without the clothes you feel me clothes burn without the clothes you feel me so uh we got into doing that so after that experience a few weeks later i was i was just tired and i didn't know what was going on and I uh I legit did not know what was going on. I was getting ready to go back to school in like a week. And mind you, I was in college now. I'm getting ready to go back to school in like a week. And I'm just like, oh, I just feel so tired. Every time I go to the bed, I feel like I got to pee. But every time I go to the bathroom, it doesn't come out. So I was just like, I'm going to the emergency room. He was like, okay, cool. Mind y'all, I ain't never told nobody this. Never. My family don't know about this. So we can finna be a hundred percent transparent. Went to the emergency room and uh the lady was like I she was like, What's going on? I was like, every time I try to pee, uh I mean it feel like I have to pee, but every time I go to the bathroom right done and come out and she was just like, Okay and they did all the tests and stuff like that. When I was sitting in the room just sitting there, blah blah and the lady came back, Congratulations, you're pregnant. I was like, how? I, 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 I ain't, ain't even did the sex. <laughs> how I'm pregnant? This don't make no sense. So, um, I was just, I was sitting there. I was like, this can't be real. This can't be real. I was like, she walked down the room. I'm crying. I was crying. I was walking around the room like pacing. This can't be real. This can't be real. I ain't even do nothing. How? Like, how, how, how? So I called him. We was chit-chatting about it. And I was just like, this can't be real. So eventually I left. Uh, I, I got mad. And I was just like, what's taking so long? Why y'all ain't got my papers? And the lady was like, um, you got a baby on the way. So you need to learn how to be patient. I ain't never forget that. And I was just like, but honey, I got, I got them papers I left. So I left. We went, talked, cried about it. All of that. Like I said, I was going back to school in a week. And basically, did I say his name? I don't think I said his name. But if y'all know me, y'all know who I'm talking about. So, um, got the papers and, uh, yeah, we was talking about it and he was just like, so what you want to do? I was like, what do you mean on what I want to do? He was just like, I mean, I'm going back to school, you going back to school, I'm really not, uh, in the position we really not in a position to take care of a child like that or even want to take care of a child like that and when i tell y'all oh boo boo hoo boo hoo boo hoo do you hear me so um he googled some stuff and drove me to arkansas and I'm not going to cry in this video. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Um, and this probably going to have to be a three-part video. But, uh, driving to Arkansas. And I cried the whole way there. The whole way there. I was just crying and crying and crying. We get to the little clinic. 
it's people outside with picket signs talking about how God love every life. God like is with you. God loves you. God loves your baby. And blah blah blah. It was just people out there picking it and I was crying. <laughs> Like, I was crying my eyes out, y'all, because it was just like, why am I here? Why am I doing this? <laughs> like, this don't make no sense. Like, what is going on? Like, I can't do it. Point blank at the period. I can't do it. He did a little pep talk. Oh, okay, we're going to do it. I'm pay he paid pay for it, y'all. Cash. Do you hear me? Paid for it. And I was just like, and I went back there and, they, and of course they all let nobody go back there but you. And I boo-hoo and boo-hoo and boo-hoo. And he was in the way room boo-hoo, boo And he said he was boo because he wanted me to be back there by myself. So they asked you all these questions, blah, blah, anyways. I gotta tell y'all, y'all can it all y'all can put two and two together on what happened. So, uh, because like y'all just don't know how much I've thought about that. Y'all don't know how much I've prayed about that. Y'all don't know how hurt I've been for so many years about that. I ain't when I say I ain't told nobody, nobody. All the the way people find out right now, of course, right now. But it's just like. It was, it wasn't even, of course it was, a, okay, I'm, like I said, I'm supposed to be perfect. I'm supposed to be doing life right. I ain't even had sex, so ain't no reason I should be having a baby. How do I explain that? that and then I, the, the lady was like, I mean, if he did, you know, come or whatever, and any of it got into you any kind of any you in any kind of way you can get pregnant he don't have to actually be inside uh, he doesn't have to be inside of you for the sperm to get inside of you so uh anyways that happened cried my eyes out boohoo about it for years every mother's day every like i was, it wasn't that it wasn't Nothing but a, a few weeks in, but it was still the fact that this was a baby. Do y'all hear me? Like, when I tell y'all, people don't, people say, because I always been pro life, poor black at a period, and I'm still pro life right now. And until it got to, until it got to decision day, and it really still, honestly, truly 100% wasn't my decision. So it was just like, okay, I've been talking to it. I, I psych myself up, okay, it's just a fetus, okay, just a few weeks, okay, don't nobody know, me and him, blah, blah, we go ahead and I pretend like nothing ever happened, blah, blah, I, when I tell y'all, I went back to school, I went back to school, thought about walking in traffic, because uh, I was hurt, I was upset that not only what, not only did I not even want to uh participate in most of the stuff that we was doing? I was just doing it trying to keep a boyfriend, you feel me? Which is a whole other situation that's ridiculous. But um, then if we I didn't even want to do half of the stuff that I was doing, and I was still doing it anyways. And it was just the fact that like you just thought it was just like it's. I know, let me, let me say this, he ain't horrible, because I know that he was looking out for me, he was just like, you got all this stuff, you got all these dreams, and blah, blah, I know that, however, comma, I still feel like it was just like, I don't need you inconvenience in my life, so because I don't need you doing that, even though I still love you and all of that, we gonna have to get this done, so, and because me being stupid, and in love, I did it, so, I was hurt. Still am hurt a little bit. Excuse me. The reason I say a little bit is because I prayed about it. And when I tell y'all, like, a couple months ago, I was laying in this bed. Waterworks. When I tell y'all, it was an ocean coming out my face. Because I was just like, how could I do something like this? Jesus, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, I don't understand. And so it is... People don't educate you. They say, okay, a woman's body, a woman's body, all of that. Of course, you have the choice to do whatever you want to do with your body. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. But at the end of the day, it's just like, don't nobody educate you on the aftermath of that stuff. That stuff caused depression. 
Like, I know everybody, everybody ain't like that. And I know some people just like, I mean, get rid of it and do what you got to do. But when I tell y'all depressed, I ain't want to talk. I think that's when I really got to the point. I don't want to talk to nobody. Like, I don't deserve to talk to nobody. How could I do something like that? You feel me? Anyways, let's move. Let, let's move on. Okay, we moved on. So, we moved on. I finally started feeling a little better. Trying to get a little more energy. Then we got to the point where we was just like, okay, so since you can get pregnant from doing the stuff that we've been doing, we might as well go all the way. So I lost my virginity when I was 21. I was 21 years old when I lost my virginity. Uh, and the reason why I have always and will always be an advocate of uh, keep saying a virgin until you get married or to God call you home is because you can't miss something that you ain't never had. That just diving into that is what started the cycle of okay we finna drop them draws. You feel me? Even though I only had three partners my whole life um, it's just the fact that I shouldn't have had them three because am I with anyone on right now? No. But anyways um, start doing a do. Then I went to work one night, a year or so later. I went to work one night, I was working at FedEx. And I caught a cramp in my lower part of my stomach and I bent over. Like the cramp was so bad I couldn't even stand up straight. So I'm standing there and I'm still trying to move the boxes and I'm holding my stomach and bent over. And I went to the bathroom and I'm just pushing and pushing and pushing. And I'm bleeding so I'm just like, okay, I'm on my period or whatever. Push it, push it, push it. I finally got got some type of relief. Went back, uh, went back to work. And I'm standing there, and I get the cramp again. And I'm just bent over, and this time it's not moving. It's just there, and I'm just like, okay, I don't know what's going on. I go ask my manager, is it a doctor, like somewhere that I can talk to? I can see. He was just like, no. So, uh, he sent me home. He was like, you go home, but ain't no doctor here. So, I had to wait on my boyfriend at the time to get off work because we wrote the work together. And, anyways, it was cold outside. I had on leggings, like two pair of leggings. I had on a pair of pants, and I had on, like, a snowsuit on top of that. So, uh, I was cramping real bad, so I was sitting on the toilet and just blood just running, running, running. I was like, I'm going to have to go to the emergency room tomorrow because this ain't making no sense. Got on the bus. He finally got off. Got on the bus to go back to uh, leave work got, and get stood up and it was blood in the seat. Mind you, I had on leggings, pants, snowsuit. It's like 30 some degrees outside and blood would do all of that and got on the seat. Uh, underwear too of course forgot to say that and it got on the seat I was like this ain't right but did I go to the hospital no I went home cuz my stomach was hurting so I laid down I had to lay a towel on the floor beside the bed and every time I caught a cramp I had to stand up and like squat down on the towel and push 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 because every time I pushed it only blood came out so I didn't know what was going on so the next morning I went to the hospital and I was just like, I really honestly truly don't know what's going on. And the lady was like, you're having a miscarriage. I was like, what? How? Like, the same reaction to all oh, a year before. I was just like, how I get pregnant? Like, this ain't making sense. Like, how? I mean, of course it makes sense what you're doing. But it was just like, how? <clears throat> so, um, uh, yeah. Uh, I think... Yeah, he told Marama about that. He showed her the paperwork and all that that I had a miscarriage. And uh yeah, that's how that went. And then uh and we broke up. Y'all know how we broke up. He stopped talking to me. I was so hurt about it because I was just like, I ain't even wanna have sex, period. But then I started bending rules because I wanted to be with you. Like I started like clothes burning. You know how old I am? I'm 20 years old. What I look like rubbing my clothes against your clothes? How old are we? Like, who do that? So, um, didn't even want to do all that, but I did all that because I loved him. He was like, oh, I don't want to, uh, oh, you say you don't want to have sex till you get married. And I want to do it right now. So, I'm just going to, uh, 
I don't want to cheat on you, so I want to break up with you so I can go do what I got to do. I ain't going to ask you to wait on me, but it would be nice if you did. And I was just like, well, if you love me and we going to get married anyways, we might as well. Stupid. You feel me? I was good at the back in the day. So, anyways, that happened. Broke up with him. Got with boyfriend number two. We was in a situation ship. So, we chit chat, chit chat, and whatnot. And that went where it went. We, it was more of a situation ship. I ain't know we were together. I ain't know we weren't together. Like, some days we together, some days we not. But we still mess with each other. We not together. But, uh, I ain't got nothing to do. You ain't got nothing to do. You know, let's go to the movies. Let's go out to eat. It was one of those type of situations. Then, of course, boyfriend number three and a baby later, here I am. So, that's pretty much my journey through relations. <laughs> and uh, the two and three, the boyfriend number two, it was it was a lot of stuff going on. Like it wasn't no scares or nothing like that. No miscarriages, none, none of that. That only happened one time. Like those, those. Uh, two in instances that I talked about that was our boyfriend number one and that's the last time the end of that happened and boyfriend number two got a lot of action because I had low self esteem <laughs> I'm okay pause we're not gonna do that we're not gonna play them like that like okay uh you can't pull me if my uh self esteem up here but it was just like okay I just want to feel loved I just want to feel wanted I just I just it wasn't even the fact that okay I just want to do this because most most of the time 99.9% .9 of the time I don't because the whole spirit on the inside of me just like, girl, what did you do? <laughs> in the middle of stuff, y'all know you you know you save, save when you in the middle of doing something. And the whole spirit on the inside of you like, you not finna enjoy this. <laughs> what Jesus say? Because this ain't it. And it's just like, ugh. <laughs> anyway, um. Uh, Got a lot of action from being, having low self esteem and feeling like the only way that I can get somebody to want me is to be with them in that way. So, uh, not saying nothing toward him. That was all me because at the end of the day, it was me making these decisions to do these things with these people. Boyfriend number three, I'm get action probably at the most a handful of times. It wasn't even a handful, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, make a feel good or whatever. Uh, and got pregnant. First time, one, one time, got pregnant. Point blank in a period. So boyfriend number three, one time got pregnant, and it was just like, okay, <laughs> all right, I got you. I learned my lesson. But oh, uh, I said all of that to say I just wanted to give y'all background on me because I know a lot of people probably wonder but a lot of folks probably don't even care but it's just when I say that you should stay a virgin until you get married I mean that wholeheartedly because you don't want to be put in situations like I, I was put in you don't want what I put myself in you don't want to have that because you literally you get soul ties with these people y'all don't know how long it took me to get over boyfriend number one. I honestly feel like I'm just now getting over him like a year ago. And we ain't been together in five years. We was together for five years. And we been broken up for five years. And I'm just, just now getting over him. That ain't nothing to play with. Soul ties ain't nothing to play with. The spiritual world in general ain't nothing to play with. Sex ain't nothing to play with. I know a lot of folks be like, oh, oh, you need to get to know your partner. You need to get to know your body. At the end of the day, baby, you want to know me. Ask Jesus about me because he know everything. You feel me? So, uh, I don't know why my nose is feeling stuff, uh, stopped up. But, uh, yeah. It's, it's not worth it. I promise it's not worth it. Because boyfriend number two, still in the back of my brain, no matter how many times, no matter how many times, or no matter how much I try to brush it back, try to clean it up, no matter what, like it's still in the back of my brain. 
Uh, boyfriend number three still lingering because we got a child together. So I mean, like he has to be here to take care of his child. And I'm not even like, okay, sometimes it's just like, okay, it'll be nice if we can be a family and whatnot. And then Jesus hit me with the facts and it's just like, oh no, I'm not dealing with that. So, um, don't be like me. <laughs> is what I'm saying. Even if you're in a situation where you have been, you have did things worse than I have done. At the end of the day, God, Jesus saved. God is there regardless of what you are did, what you feel like you can't come back from, what you too embarrassed to say. Because y'all don't know how long, well clearly y'all know how long, I, the whole, you know, situation happened when I was 21. I'm about to be 27 and I'm just now telling people about it, like y'all about it. So it's just like. It take a lot to break soul ties. It take a lot to cleanse yourself from all of this mess. Because that's all it is. It's mess you let on the inside of you. Even if it feel good for the moment, baby girl, it ain't worth it. Baby girl, baby boy, because I know dudes that have stories too. It's not worth it, honestly. It ain't worth the headache. It ain't worth the heartache. It ain't worth the uh, insecurity. It ain't worth the... A few little moments of pleasure that you have, it's not worth none of that. I promise it ain't worth it. So, uh, yeah. I hope y'all learned a little bit more about me. I hope y'all got some type of motivation, like, if, to save yourself or get yourself together, get yourself right, get yourself tight. Uh, because God got plans for us out here in these streets. Y'all ain't gonna see me busting it open for nobody until I get a ring off and get a ring off and I'll do, do a little bit more than busting it open, you feel me? <laughs> but for real though, so, um, uh, yeah. Stay pure out here in these streets. Stay real out here in these streets, regardless. Like, even if y'all slip up tonight or tomorrow, or a couple weeks from now, couple months, and try. Let's try. Let's do that. Let's do that type of pack. Let's try to keep ourselves together. In the process of keeping ourselves together, let's pray. Let's fast. You feel me? To build our spirit, man. Because this flesh, this flesh is weak, baby. This flesh of how you making phone calls and sending text messages at 2 o'clock in the morning. I know because I did it. And it's just like, oh, I'm not I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to talk to you and see what you're doing. And I just want to chit-chat. And I knew what I was doing. But that's that flesh. <laughs> we don't want to live in that flesh. You feel me? So... Let's get ourselves in order. Let's keep it right. Keep it tight. If you're a virgin, it ain't worth it. Losing it, I promise it ain't. I ain't gonna play it like it's traumatizing. Because it, I ain't even gonna lie to you like you don't feel good either. It do. But do you need to be doing it? No. And it, if it, matter of fact, it don't even feel good unless you're married. You don't know what uh, real sex feel like till you got a ring on your finger. When you love somebody. Not say you can't love somebody without marriage, but at the end of the day, God, uh, God made, I'm, I don't know better than God do. And I feel like every time that we go out here in these streets and we give, we give, like willingly give our bodies away to another creation after the creator told us not to, I feel like we just be an my camera cut off, but I was just saying, I feel like, uh, when we give our bodies and stuff away, then, uh, we being arrogant and feeling like we know better than God and we, I, I control my life. You don't tell me what to do. I do whatever I want to do. I feel like that's basically what we saying without saying it. So, yeah, anyways, it ain't worth it. I promise y'all it ain't worth it. Like, if I could take all of it back. If I could take all of it back, I would simply because of the fact that I wouldn't be able to sit here and give y'all this story and be real with y'all and be transparent with y'all and let y'all know what I went through. Like, even attempting to follow the rules, even going to the point where it's just like, okay, I'm not going to go all the way there. I'm going to go a little bit there, but I ain't going to go all the way there. Even that whole process, I know that I've been with three people in my whole life and some, some people I've been in a life. 
a hundred. Some people have been with one. Some people ain't been with none. I know that I might not have all the experience. I know I might. I don't have all the experience out here in the in the world. And some people probably like, you ain't even really going through nothing for real. Because I have been through worse stuff than that. But it's just like, I, the little piece that I do have, I want to give it to y'all. And let y'all know that y'all not alone out here in these streets. Y'all not alone in saving yourself a marriage. No matter if you undid it before or you haven't. You not alone. If you need somebody to talk to, I'm here to talk to me. Uh, if you going through any situation, I had a couple people send me messages about situations they going through. When they go through, or when they come to abortions and miscarriages and things of that nature and I ain't never told these people nothing of course till we start having a conversation but I ain't never told these people nothing about my life and they just come to me with things like that and I don't mind talking to y'all about it I don't mind talking to you off the ledge I don't mind uh, talking to you out of relationship I don't mind calling your boyfriend and be like hey pimp this ain't working you feel me my girl deserve better you ain't giving her better you ain't the man God called her to be with so she gonna have to break up with you she can't talk to you because you know when you, she talk to you she end up at your house and y'all know what you do at your house so I'm talking to you on her behalf block her because she ain't gonna block you <laughs> I had to do all of that so never feel like I'm just out here in these streets uh trying to do stuff for views or trying to do stuff for show because at the end of the day who watched my videos nobody like I'm not even getting paid to make these videos I'm not I'm just I'm just trying to do the Lord's work. I'm trying to do what I'm. I'm trying to do what God called me to do, whatever that may be. So I'm giving y'all all of me, transparent and all. Like this is it. This the only part of my life that I ain't really told y'all about. Now y'all know it. So we bonded for life. <laughs> we friends for life. You feel me? So thank y'all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you have questions, please leave it in the comment section below. You can send me messages on Instagram at Jana Tanis. You can send me messages on Facebook at Jana T. Clark. Um, you can send me messages anonymously in my email, Jana Tanis at gmail.com. Like, it does not matter to me. I'm here. I ain't never going to tell nobody your business. What we talk about is what we, what we talk about because, I mean, it's us. And yeah, we out here. And I thank y'all for listening, uh, giving me the opportunity to even talk to y'all. Thank you for clicking on my videos. I love y'all. And I hope y'all got something from this video. Something. Even if you were just entertained by listening to it, I hope you got something from it. So I love y'all. I'll catch y'all later.